What in the legit ass was that? Because that wasn't a movie. Wow. Wow, guys. I really don't know what I can say that hasn't already been said about this this movie. Um, it's garbage. But I think we all knew that, so once again I get to say, See that boy? Your old man was right! <laughs> A little Simpsons reference. But yeah, this, um, this was not good. Like, the whole time I was waiting for it to end. So it all felt longer. Um... There are going to be spoilers in here, and also, if you want to check out a more in-depth review, you guys can go to uh, the link below and check out Comic Universe. Subscribe to them, because my, my buddy uh, C-Dubs is going to do a more lengthy review of the movie. Um, and uh, you can also check out my review, my thoughts on the season 11 premiere of Doctor Who while you're, or while you're at it. Anywho, let's get back to this thing. Look. The, the Venom design looks good, but, like, PG-13, wow, this thing got cut to pieces on the cutting room floor because there are just some moments in here where I was like, well, how did that happen? Where did that come from? Also, there are just, like, so many indiscrepancies with how, you know, the world works. I mean, realistically speaking, like, there'd be no way a private company could actually have that much power to own and have their own test rockets without NASA's say-so. I mean, Tes the Tesla group have to, you know, run some channels behind NASA. Anyway. All, like, um, yeah. Also, Eddie Brock is complete. also, the whole thing with Eddie Brock being comedic, it almost felt like he was a drugged-out version of, uh, Jim Carrey from Liar Liar. No, really, that's what it felt like. He felt like that the whole time. Like, he's running around, making weird jokes, the symbiote's also there, calling him a pussy half the time, or a bitch. And suddenly, they become best of friends through the movie. Alright, for no reason, other than, oh, Big Bad happened, we need to have our complete storyline here, even though I was totally on board with killing you all before, and I was totally killing you, Brock. I don't even care, I'm fucking spoiling this movie. And I'm jumping everywhere with it. Because, yeah, this... This was everything I knew was going to be bad. Now, it, it, this movie wasn't offensively bad like The Predator was. Like, I walked out of there, like, completely angry. This one, I was like, I already know what I'm getting into. So, I guess my expectations were a little low. Um, did make me want to go play Prototype, though. Just saying. <laughs> I know I've made that Prototype joke before, but I guess I'll make it... But, yeah, I'm gonna make it again. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, also the relation, like I said, the relationship between Venom, uh, um, between the symbiote and Eddie is completely fucked, because, yeah, the symbiote is killing him from the inside, and then out of nowhere he gets the sudden heel turn, and is like, no, we have to team up to stop Riot. And at the beginning, like, there was hope, like, at the beginning of this film, like, there was hope, like, it was going for the more horror atmosphere, but then, wow, the legit, um, bad, like, bad humor, like, I think... They w looked at Deadpool and thought that... I don't think they looked at the MCU movies. I think they, honest to God, looked at the Deadpool films and thought, maybe it's not the great action and great storytelling that makes the movie. It's the humor. And let's roll with that. Not the, the And also the fact that we had the balls to do an R-rated film. Yo, that... That's not what happened either, you know. That's... that's to it was totally the humor. It was the weird off-base humor that got us in. So let's do that and, you know, ignore, you know, storytelling or, you know, let's let's edit out 40 minutes of the film, too, while we're at it. Let's also make Eddie Brock, like, completely goofy and silly and not the per- you know, um, and, oh, God. All the characters are in here are really bad. Like, you do not buy his and Anne's relationship. Like, in the comics, you're not supposed to, either. Because, yeah, Anne's kind of fucked up because of Eddie. But, yeah, that's, um... I, I know I keep saying it doesn't happen like this in the comics, but, yeah. Um, this is so off-base from what it wanted to... What they wanted to be... What people wanted from a Venom film. So, yeah. Uh, the final boss fight is really dumb. Um, the, uh... The, 
the action sequences are also like complete jump cuts throughout multiple scenes, and they're not real. They're not really fluid, give or take a few. Also, actually, there's nothing else I can say. This was just a, I don't know where to even begin with this film, and I know a lot of other reviewers have talked about this film in great detail and talked it a hell of a lot better than I have. So. What else do you want me to say, guys? What else can I say about this garbage-ass Sony movie that hasn't already been said already? No, really. I, I, I'm curious. Like, what else can I say that can make you not want to go to this film already? Like, if you are a Venom fan, I apologize in it, like, entirely. And I had nothing to do with this film. I was like, god damn. I mean, I like Venom, but I know some die-hard Venom fans out there who are going to be legit angry by this. And I've seen some here and there. But all of this made me it made me go, oh, I just want it to end. And when, it, when you want a movie to end, that's when it feels really long. And again, you know, props to you, Sony. You once again had the final shot in the trailer be, I mean, the final shot of the movie be in the trailer good for you. You know, once again, you, you never cease to amaze me. Also, the new voice they got for Venom, while you can understand it, it does suck. It really does suck. Um, but, alright, whatever. Oh yeah, and, and uh, Woody Harrelson's in here wearing a big goofy-ass goofy ass wig, like a, like a legit Ronald McDonald wig. And of yes, he's Carnage. Yeah, I don't even know what to do. Like, I don't even know what else to say, really. And I know I'm jumping all over this, but, like, y'all, there was nothing in this movie that they could, you know, that they could have possibly done to save it. Like, there was, like, a legit... Like, this felt like a cry for help. This felt like a cry for help from Sony to Marvel saying, please... Please save us from ourselves. And Marvel whispered back, Fuck no. Because you have completely, completely, uh, you've just completely shot yourselves in the foot. So, yeah, guys, I, I know I'm really, like, stumbling over sentences, but, like, Again, a lot of other reviewers have said, you know, a lot worse about this movie. And there, you know, I can't help but agree. This is just a bad movie. I mean, it's not as terrible as The Predator, but still pretty bad. Like, still legit bad, so. Yeah, um, I got nothing else to say, so just comment below. If you've seen Venom or would rather watch something else, uh, just comment below, let me know. Once again, you guys can hit the link below to my other channel, Comic Universe, and once again, I hope you all enjoyed this, and I will see you guys later.